Hey guys, what's up? My name is Short Result, and today we are um, going to see if we um, if, you have, if a person really does need the desktop hub app um, on their Samsung Dex, or if they really need the Dex Max app. So this app also. Let's go ahead and see if we if you if you if you really need the desktop hub app or Dex Max. So before we start, um, I'm running Android 8 and I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So I'm I'm, bas I'm basing my review on that. Uh, so before we continue, I do think that the desktop hub and the Dex Max app is necessary if you have Android 7 because I have a Galaxy S8 Plus with Android 7 and I think you do need these these two apps for for um, Android 7 but on Android 8 and above I think that these two apps are unnecessary and you don't need them so let's go ahead and look why and look at the features of these two apps so let's first go ahead and look at um, Dexmax so I don't have Dexmax installed because I really don't need, I really don't need it at all it's it doesn't even it, it, it doesn't even even work well in Android 8 so basically Dexmax is, Dexmax is an app that <laughs> Um, helps you to make your games and apps run in full screen so you can use the app then to um, the app basically injects code into your apks and then um, creates a new apk and then you install that apk onto your system and that apk has code that makes it go um, resize or go full screen so yes and, and, and if the app doesn't want to go full screen you can use the expert mode as well so it's just simply an app that helps you that helps um you run apps and games in full screen, which is, which is really unnecessary to have if you have Android 8 Oreo because um, um, most games and apps automatically runs in full screen when you have um, Samsung Dex developer mode enabled or if you launch your games through the game launcher. And sometimes you can also launch your apps, your apps through the game launcher. For instance, you can go here, um, there, and then say add apps and you can add apps here as well and it will attempt to launch the apps in full screen and so far um, I would say about 99% of my games and apps automatically runs in full screen and if it doesn't then of course I have um, the other app which is uh, let's go back which is Samsung or Dex, Dex, desktop hub Dex app so currently the only, the only reason why I have this app is simply for the keyboard shortcut so this app um so when you install this thing when you install when you install this app it has some cool things such as um you can change the phone volume here or there or you can um, enable desktop um you can able enable wi-fi and bluetooth when you go into des desktop mode or disable it when you go out so uh, most of these things in this app you can do with, you can do without the app just by going to the settings so let's go ahead so, so, so basically the only reason why i have this app is to enable desktop enhance so I, have this, so I have this enabled and this is the only reason why i have this app um it's simply for these keyboard shortcuts so you can enable the keyboard shortcuts here and this is quite cool shortcuts to have um so the main reason why i have why i want this is to have this full screen shortcut here so in case um it doesn't go full screen um for some reason then i can just then i can just simply go and press windows key and up and then this will, will make the app and games go full screen so it kind of makes and the, the Dex Max app useless um, because, because because either it runs, it runs in full screen through this app or through game launcher or just simply through the um, developer mode and then the second um, thing is because of this I want I want to be able to, to disable the shift plus space language switch because when you, because when you type and you have to, and you have, to, and you have this, this, this this disabled then it keeps switching between languages when I try to uh, make capital and then press space and then the third reason is simply for the file explorer i want to be able to press windows key e and then open the file explorer oops and then open the file the file explorer so that's that's also a reason why i want to have this app and then that's basically it so simply if you want to have these shortcuts and some of these things then get this app otherwise this app is not really necessary as most games and apps do run in full screen Although, although that although that one percent that, that doesn't this app is there for that at this moment um you can also change you can also change, 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 change the brightness which is something you, do, you don't really need you can do it without this app you can enable through window which is just basically enabling developer mode which is what we have already um you can auto launch apps so this is, so this is, so this, 
So this is also nice. You can uh, automatically choose apps that must start up when you um, open the desktop, but I don't need this. But you can choose some apps that, that will automatically um, run when you go into desk desktop mode. And then there's keyboard settings, which you can change in settings. And normal, normal system settings. So yes, so basically, in conclusion, I don't think you need um, either of these two apps when you're running Android 8 and above. But for the best experience, I would suggest to get at least the desktop hub app. Um, or the Dex Max. I think the app is the app is useless if you if you are running Android 8 Oreo or above. Um, I almost never use this app, um, Desktop Hub. I only use it when I when I want to open um, um, the File Explorer. That's basically almost the, the only reason why I'm using this app, um, as it's the most used feature in this app for me at this moment. And Yes, that's yes, guys. That's basically this video. Um, if you have any questions about this, then you can ask me in the comment section. And please, let, please let me know in the comment section what phones you have, what what operating system you are you have, and whether you, whether you you use these apps and for what you use them. Um, I would love to hear from you guys what you guys use and why do you use them. Um, so yes, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.